in the kitchen now with Chef Todd from Syrah, a relatively new restaurant in the Brown County area, kind of uh, out on the way to Door County, right? Yep, definitely right on the way, uh, right, off, right off of 57 there. A wonderful wine list and uh, just some new different kind of upscale gourmet food. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're looking for someplace different to go, give them a try. And we're going to make something that's, uh, you've got a nice newer kind of lighter menu. Yep, we just came with our spring menu about three weeks ago. And uh, this is one of my favorites on it. It's a caramelized garlic tart. Mm. Um, it comes from, uh, it's based off an item at Adelingi out of London. Mm. So uh, a lot of fun, really, really cool. And it's perfect for like a... Some sort of a brunch or a luncheon. If you like quiche, you're gonna love this. Lots of great flavor. Pretty easy to do too. Definitely. And like you said before, you can do it the day before, spring it out the next day, warm it up a little bit, and you're good to go. Yeah, quiche is one of those things that you can even you know put out at room temperature. Love so room temp, yeah, yeah, it's really, really nice. So all right, first of all, it's a caramelized garlic tart. So um, right then I said, how do you do that? And how does that I've caramelized onions but not garlic. Yep, and this is a little different. Uh, what, we're, what we did first is I blanched this garlic in water. Just boiled it in water for about three minutes, drained it off. Just a little bit of garlic. That's a boatload <laughs> of garlic. About well, how many cloves? A cup and a half of yep. garlic cloves. So go ahead, get your fresh garlic, peel it, um, you know, into the cloves and then drop it into boiling water. Yep. Anything in the water? Nothing in the water. Just straight up water for about how long? Three minutes. And all that's going to do is take the bitterness out and leave you with that just rich garlic flavor. Okay, like that. Because sometimes the garlic can be a little overpowering. Is it kind of like when you go to a restaurant and they roast garlic and they put it on the table? Well, you guys do that it, yeah, too. Yeah, same okay. deal. We roast a lot of garlic at the restaurant. It's just you want to do anything you can to soften garlic up a little okay. bit. Okay, yeah. And get that acidic, acidic touch out of it. I love that because you can put it on bread that way and eat it straight up. Oh, and it's yeah. Not, yeah. Eat it's it like not, popcorn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now what are we going to do with this? This is the, now that it's been blanched for three minutes yep. and boiling water. We got water. some oil going here. We're going to saute that. What kind of oil? Does it matter? Uh, just canola. Okay. I, use, I generally use a blend of canola and okay. olive oil. Okay. So we want it not smoking hot, but just warm? Is oh, pretty hot. We want to get some hot. color in there. Okay, we do. Okay. All right, and just kind of keep watching this for a little bit. Yep, once we get some color on there. Okay. We are uh, just going to add some balsamic. Uh, we got about tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons of balsamic. Okay, how about we wait and let sure. it do its thing and we'll move on to some of the other parts. Sure, what we got here? The crust. The crust. Uh, what I use is a puff pastry, frozen okay. puff pastry sheets. Okay. Uh, roll them out, set them in your pan and blind bake, blind bake them. So you just want to bake it for about 25, 30 minutes. Okay. Get some beads or beans in there so you don't, you're not raising up too high. And then uh, just trim the edges off. Okay. You can easily use like one of the other crusts. You can just buy uh, pre-made, mm -hmm. baked, mm -hmm. unbaked, whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever your uh, skill level dictates. Puff pastry is really easy to work with. So it I is. mean, yeah, just peppered farm in the freezer section. Just roll it in there and and bake. So that's done. But we're going to rebake. So we don't want to overbake this. Exactly. Is, what is the key. So you notice how it's not totally brown. We just want it uh, so it's not soggy. Is that what exactly? We're okay. Just okay. don't want. It. Yep. Okay. All right. So we're starting to get a little bit of color. Um, maybe we work on the egg for a little bit. Sounds while we... good. And uh, what our filling, our custard part, is going to okay. be two eggs. Okay. And then uh, I have some creme. We use creme fraiche at the restaurant. We make what it ourselves. What is creme fraiche? We uh, take about a cup of a cup of heavy cream and add a tablespoon of buttermilk to it. Okay. And then leave that out at room temperature overnight. Basically, it turns it into like a sour cream. Okay. With a little little different flavor, not quite as sour. If you if you don't have or I know some some stores sell creme fraiche, just sour cream would sour work. Sour cream is easy. Okay. Yep. So two eggs, sour cream. Yep. And we got heavy cream here. Heavy cream. And then uh, we're just going to do a little salt and pepper in there. You bet. Is this the salt and pepper yep. mixture? You guys do your own seasoning blends, I know, and grind up a little I am a, a big lot. blend yeah, guy. Yeah. And then we're just going to beat that up a little bit. Now, I know, I know and I've heard from a lot of chefs, and I think this is key. I think we've all had that quiche that was just kind of dry. And I, I really believe it's the, the ratio of eggs to, to the custard. It's supposed to be very custardy. And, you know, yeah. you notice we don't have like six eggs in here. Exactly, you're going to get tougher and it's going to get yeah, chewy on yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. So just two eggs and that um, creme fraiche and the heavy cream, it, it, it doesn't look like scrambled eggs. It really, you know, looks more like a custard. Yeah. Exactly, yep. yeah. All right, how are we doing? Oh, if you could smell this at home. We're doing good there. Ooh. Then uh, remember, you're putting this into hot oil, so you want to be real careful. Okay. So you're putting a third a cup of water and okay. about a third a cup of the balsamic. In so in, in goes our yep. water. Okay. This is just balsamic vine uh, vinegar. Yep. Okay, what else? And we have some fresh chopped rosemary and thyme. Okay, right in here, all of that? Yep. Oh, I love the idea of using chopped rosemary and fresh, there's nothing like fresh thyme. Oh, oh. 
dry doesn't even compare. No, it doesn't. It's one of the, it's yeah. one of the few you don't yep. want to mess with dry. Yep. And so we're we waiting for this to kind of reduce down. Is that what we're waiting for? Yep, we're going to reduce that down a little bit. As okay. we're doing that, we can start adding our cheese and building our tart here. Like okay. I said, we got our crust cooked, ready to go. What kind of cheese? We got shredded Havarti here. Mm. This is going for the, this is your creamy factor. Okay. This gets all melty and gooey. Mm. And then uh, our second cheese here is a goat cheese shove. Ooh. So what this adds is just that pungent, Love. nice cheese. Oh. Yum. I'm going to spread that around, try to get, make sure there's a little bit in every taste here. Okay. And then here's that. It's for up you. to our garlic. Thank okay. You. All right. So at home, you're going to want to really let this reduce for a bit, right? You want a little bit of syrup left, but yeah, you want to reduce what we started with by about half. Okay. So we'll just let this keep cooking, and then basically the custard goes on top after for the garlic yep, is. Yep. You put in some garlic, some syrup over there, okay. and then we're going to fill in all the holes with your uh, custard. Okay. And slowly pour it over there. Make sure everything fills in nicely. Bake time. Bake time is about uh, 35 minutes okay. at 350 degrees. I want to show you what it looks like when it comes out. This is beautiful, and you can see the garlic. Oh, and this is something on your menu as an appetizer. As an app, yep. We serve it with a little bit of a little bit of arugula underneath it, and a wow. fresh, fresh wow. Uh, thyme wow. spray. Wow, we'll have to nibble on that little crust. It looks absolutely amazing. <laughs>